Have you once done something against your own wish or heart desire? And later can't find a good reason why you did what you did? Just take a deep breath and ask yourself, how did this life all begun? Who and what is behind it? And what are their reasons? Earth actually brings you the coded network between space and time, the reality and virtuality of things around us. We do sometimes get involved in things without our clear intentions. But, whenever you experience that, no need for you to panic so much. It's just a mere click, or sometimes a glitch in our software. Are you serious? You heard me perfectly. Most often, our reactions reveals having been manipulated, or simulated into the circumstances, that prompts us to be either good or bad, but it's not a big deal, or a problem anymore. That pretty cool. There is no escape, in fact not even a narrow escape from this unequal, partly virtual and partly spiritual reality we are living. Oh no. Put it this way. We are made of codes, by codes from a coder. Or maybe just by the coder's codes coding itself. What amazing universe. Yes. I mean we are the program of a higher advanced programmer. What like computer? Yes. Pure simulated process of reprocessed processes is the nature of our universe. Say it again. Listen. Pure simulated process of reprocessed processes is the nature of our universe. Again. Pure simulated process of reprocessed processes is the nature of our universe. Listen, this level of simulation is far way beyond MK Ultra, Silicon or whatever you might have seen on the Matrix movie. It's something beyond our dimension. For real. Far way damp beyond our reachable dimension for now. But, what I want we all to know is that there's nothing new in this entire universe. I repeat, absolutely nothing. And one most important fact is that, religious organizations, world most powerful countries, law and media, science and its related technologies are nothing but co-conspirators in our simulation process. They know whom we actually are. They are all parts of the simulants formed to control and confuse us. So, our mental state can be easily simulated by our unknown simulators. Let's take a quick look to know how religion, science and technology are the major simulant for all the brainwashing. Do you know that the one and only thing all religions have in common is God? Though kinds or types of their God may now vary from one another, but fact remains, seeing someone, something as their gods and also a place or somewhere, as their promised land. As Christians, we believe to have the one and only unknown but almightier God, and heaven will be our paradise for eternal life. Not also leaving behind, numerous other religions that worship stars, sun, forest, cats, cookies, salad or cheese, and have their paradise below or above heaven. Gosh. This is not funny guys, because no matter the religious differences, the one faith common within all religion is still God. It doesn't really matter what anyone worship, but the fact that it's been referred to as God, that means it should be respected as one, at least before the person that claims it as his or her God. What is God? a simple English God or maybe borrowed or translated from a Hebrew or Greek word. And so damn what? God at same time can be nothing and anything other than the ordinary and unsolvable equation surrounding our universe till date. And this is simple based on the mysterious and sometimes unexplainable things that surrounds us. All religious aspect of creation relates to someone either as holy or super powerful, more intelligent, hero or heroine, right? We human on earth invented English as a language, right? And so therefore, it's spoken only on some part of earth, and not at all in heaven. 
Interesting. Now let's take a look at how God is defined in English language. I will be reading a modified transcript from the Wikipedia website. God is defined as a monotheistic and a Christ-like conception of referring to someone or something unknown or unexplainable as a creator and the ruler of the universe and the source of all moral authority. This monotheistic and Christ-like conception ranked God as the most supreme being in Christianity. Certain other religions, to nickname their god as a superhuman being, food supplier, husbands and wife and etc. Not also forgetting the spiritualist, who worship some things that really can't be translated into English, and they believe in them as having power over nature, or human fortunes, and it has been working for them to be most honest. That is why, we still see a whole lot of occultism, deities, moon god worshippers and uncountable secret, and spiritual related activities round the entire globe. Without leaving behind some African traditions, and rituals that had even existed before English as a language, or before we had assumed to someday, we can be cloned from our brother's apes to become human. I don't know. She was you. She has no one else. Pretty cool. Because so many now forgotten theories had articulated the latest scientific Big Bang, and its stereotype, string theory illustrates nothing in direct opposite of the religious long conception, also that points to an unknown, most powerful, most intelligent element known as God having created everything from nothing. Who have been fooling who all this while? I want viewers to solve this equation from a rational and non-sentimental point of view. I am a Christian and same time a scientist, but let's do this simple brain work together. Are you all ready? Let's go. Is it unthinkable that if one unknown God came from nowhere, and put up all this from nothing. Isn't it possible for anything to happen at any time in our daily life, or even for things to recreate itself into any other thing, or even into everything in different times or places, just in space of time? Just like the Big Bang or string physics. I hate to see where well-educated men arguable predicts that everything in this well-networked engulfed and closed up prison that we call the universe, just one day erupted without a source or roots, nutrients, or eight less placing a common master planner behind the scene. And most funny, it all just begun with a little tiny flash of light. The light then generated some stars, and stars regenerating into some elements, and the elements proceeded to emerge and form atoms and particles. From the atoms and particles became we atoms. Wow that pretty cool. That is absolute rubbish. I don't care if atom came before particles or particles came first, it's just too insultive to narrate our origin so simple, like we worth nothing. Let's be serious for once guys. Maybe that white our governments really don't give a f about what we think, or the future of our generations. A little tiny start to result into an explosion, an explosion extended by nothing to. Let's make it sound even better, call it the extended, or amplified and re-amplified Big Bang. It's not anywhere near attractive. Sorry, if you think I make no sense or out of point. You should know what it's like to be clicked, manipulated or simulated. Now, back to basics. I know only less than 28 people in the entire world is recorded to have actually seen the end of Earth from above and perceived directly the original view of space. Didn't they discover the truth? Didn't they discover the truth? Didn't they discover the truth? Or are they hiding God? Or the aliens helping to clone or reclone us? Wow, again, they hiding God? Or the aliens helping to clone? or reclone us from our original cloner. I mean the ones that imprisoned us here for their experimental simulation. 
maybe what they saw up there was beyond what they had actually bargained for, right? For past decades, we have all the satellite flying in space, and more and more billions of dollars are spent on space exploration projects. What is it that we scientists are actually searching for? It that we scientists are actually searching for? Or is their main objective the top class classified secret? Classified secret? Classified secret that should be kept away from the public and less privileged? Anyway, no matter what they do up there, they are not the first to have tried locating our secret creator, or the mystery of nature surrounding us. Are you serious? The space has its rules and regulations, and not only that, but it also has its own governments, soldiers and army too. Sorry, do you mean real marines? There's an extremal geometry in generalizations of space from its calculus variation of time. As you can see with me, motions are coordinated by space and time with the help of the stars. If you are familiar with software programming, virtual simulation, advanced morphing, blender animation and rendering, Python coding or network diagrams, Java, or even data scripting, a comprehensive space simulation gives you no other reason to doubt we are practically simulated. You mean a computer? The worst is that I feel we are not simulated by same simulator at all point in time. Oh no. So, no matter how we see our actions, being either good, righteous or bad, depends on who is controlling or clicking our individual software at a given point of perception. But one last thing you should think about us being simulated. Is it a conscious simulation or by error? Guys I pray it's not by error. That will be like being simulated by some kind of simulated simulators. Wow again. I mean, it may also be possible that another higher simulator simulated our simulator for this continuous simulation. Oh no. Maybe knowingly or unknowingly. Or maybe the universe herself is a simulant. Wow that pretty cool. That makes it so possible for all this to have come from nothing other than spoken words. I know for sure we have already started our own virtual reality here on Earth. Are you serious? Can anyone remember what video games used to look like around late 80s? Until late 90s. Within this last decade, nature has unveiled a lot of scientific and technologically advanced devices, machines and other wonders so numerous to quote here. Don't we think that, in the near future, we will not only be simulating characters in a computer and robotic human, but also able to create or recreate our kind, or maybe a little inferior kind of human, with conscious mind, that also could develop itself in space of time. Just take this to be like the new theory of simulated simulator simulating simulators to simulate more simulator for constant simulation. Are you serious? Wow, again. Just take this to be like the new theory of simulated simulator simulating simulators to simulate more simulator for constant simulation. This is where we draw the curtain to a close in this episode. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to check out this video, you will be fascinated. We disclosed, two types of simulations possible that we are living in, and what consequences are attached with each of them. Don't forget to subscribe, like and leave us a comment. Thanks for being a part of this generation. One love keeps us together.